So they're off the black boat there of Norberto Mauro just moving on very nicely. Rufino here taking the lead. Rufino de Paolo in lane five, the 36 year old finished sixth in the KL2 event. This is his class, the VL2, moving on very, very well. Half a boat length over the field here, halfway through this sprint. Power and accuracy from him as he paddles his way towards the medal here in this Paralympic final. Portugal's morale currently riding in second place, but there's pressure here from the Spanish paddler just above him, from Rivero. Also, Igor Korobainikov for the RPC, moving up here into a potential male position. But no one at this stage will catch the Brazilian. Fernando Rafino de Paulo takes gold ahead of Blake Haxton for the USA, coming through there. The Brazilian takes the gold medal. Paralympic champion Fernando Rafino de Paulo. 36 years of age. Sixth place finish at the World Championships in 2019, now Paralympic champion. And it was Stephen Blake Haxton from the USA who's taken the silver medal. Superb paddle from Haxton. Ahead of Norberto Mauro for Portugal, taking bronze. Mauro coming into this with the fastest qualifying time. Settles for the bronze medal behind this man. Beautiful shots here between the Brazilian and the Portuguese paddler. Haxton from the USA coming to give a tap of a paddle there to the other medalists. It's a very well-timed race from Haxton. Rafino took the early advantage. Mauro is still in touch. Haxton drops back just a little at this point, but makes his showing in the final stages to come through for the silver medal. Absolute delight on the line for the gold medalist and Paralympic champion from Brazil. Supporters absolutely thrilled with that one. <laughs> what a scene here from the Brazilian delegation. A new Paralympic best time set by Fernando Rafino de Paulo, 53.077. Greeted like the champion he is by the Brazilian coaching staff, by the delegation. <laughs>